Hey guys, welcome back to the Films 128 channel. Photography episode for today. Went on a little vacation, a little trip, a little fun outing on the, what is this thing called? Great Smoky Mountain Railroad. Here's the brochure. Make sure you read through it from here. And it was really cool because my wife booked the open car, open air car, so no windows and we were, you know, aimed out the window to see out the window rather than like in a booth with just a window next to us. You know, we're just looking out air so I could actually lean out of the of the train and get shots going, you know, with it going this way, shots going that way. Very cool. So I wanted to play it safe, but I also wanted just really good film. So I went with Ilford's Delta 400, ended up shooting two rolls of it because, I mean, you're on an old train and you're going through the mountains. Of course you're going to shoot two rolls. Had to play it also safe with the camera, Canon T70, you know, trusty, doesn't ever fail me. All right, so let me show you the vlog part of the video, and once we get back, we'll look and see all the results, everything that got developed, how it came out, and if there's anything I want to bring into Photoshop and adjust. So, here we go. Back in the office now, let's look at some of these shots. I think everything, I, I got a lot of great stuff here. There's definitely some printables, definitely some great shots. Let's take a look, see here. I'll scroll through some of them. There's a lot of them, so I'm gonna skip some for you. So, cause this, you know, 
two rolls at 36 exposures each. That's like a whole bunch of shots. Let's see if I can bring that into Photoshop. Let's look at 10. So just a quick couple things, just an auto tone. Let's look at some curves adjustments. Like that. And let's see if we can just bring the train in a tiny bit, bring that in a tiny bit. Some mid-tones. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not a terrible shot. Some houseboats. That's kind of a cool shot. Let's look at uh, 28 real quick with these houseboats here. Let's try to just adjust the contrast just a little bit. Actually, I like that. Just, just that alone. Just a little adjustment to it. It's. I could see printing that. This shot's pretty cool. Let's bring this one in. All right. Let's do quick. Make me make it an adjustable layer. Let's do a quick rotate on it because it's a little bit off. Mm, just eyeball it a little better there we are quick crop on that possibly a little bit more than a quick crop like I wonder if we get rid of the foreground land here just readjust this image let's do this let me see something here all right something like that maybe or do I want all that sky maybe I do Let's try that. Oh, need to get rid of that right there. The question is, do we Photoshop it or do we actually cut it? Uh, we'll actually just cut it. All right, now, quick standards. My curves adjust and my auto tones, as always. Drop the highs a little bit. Bump that contrast up. Let's see, Let's zoom out a little bit. That's actually a pretty cool shot. I would not mind printing that like on a canvas thing, just hanging that on a wall. Get the train, the nice lake. I know, it looks really cool. I like the background there. I was thinking about burning that and I don't want to. I like that that's faded and that this is more crisp because it's giving way more depth doing it that way. So all in all, great time, great shoot. Loved some of the results I've got, some printables, some stuff I would definitely print, hang on the wall. And as, and as a bonus, real quick, I'm gonna show you this guy. I only, I'm not doing a whole episode about it because it didn't really work out too well. But I took the Holga with us and it was just too dark for most of the shots. So most of it came out pretty pitiful. Um, you know, the negatives are not even cut because I couldn't find individual frames, but there was a shot I took of the train before we got on it that looks like one of those old-timey photos. I swear to God, there's no Photoshop done to this yet. I have not done any Photoshop to that. I love that Holga camera. 
I love the way it's got sharp focus in the middle there and then just blurs out. I love the vignetting effect. What did I shoot that on? That was on... That was on Ilford's HP5. And that one I ended up... I, I had to get a print of that. I ended up putting that as a canvas print myself. Hang on. I'm going to have to go get it. I had to get it done as a canvas print. And I think it came out great. Just looks... Just looks awesome. So I love when that happens. I love when I get something I can, you know, keep. Something I can frame, hang, show off. And that shot came out awesome. I guess that's it for the episode, though. Uh, like, subscribe, Etsy store, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. So I loaded the camera with Delta 